Okay, back here at the cutter grinder. Now these cutters here, I don't know. I'm going to start from scratch. But I have to make a stub arbor uh, to, to gash those teeth in further. And uh, I'll, I'll put a stub arbor in. Let's see this. Yeah, let's see how... Uh, a 50 taper. That's pretty hefty. See, that'll go on to that end. And I can uh, put a piece of steel in this in inch and a quarter and uh, thread it, even grind it in place and have a, a good stub arbor to put cutters on. So I got to do that. And in the meantime, I'm going to grind some of these other cutters I have here. And I'd like to get better results than I did on that last one. Here's a 15 tooth cutter here. It uh, says it's 5 sixteenths, but somebody ground it uh, widthwise to uh, one quarter inch. And uh, it's got three angles on it here that I see, and I will inspect that it next. Okay, I'll get out that gauge. Okay, now these cutters look like they got just about six degrees primary clearance here. So I will set that uh, head at six degrees. Yeah, this is set up here. So I've got this uh, finger on center. And I can put just any cutter in there and uh, move the, the finger to adjust laterally. Okay. Okay, just taking a very light cut on these teeth here. This has a lot less teeth than the other one. Only 15. So I'm going to go ahead and go around and just spark this out. If I get this one a little more on the round side there. That one tooth kind of had a nick in it. I think that's it there.
said the teeth are getting a nice polish on them. Keep index in there. Oh, edge with my The nice thing about having a cutter grinder is you'll have sharp tools thereafter. <laughs> okay. If you don't mess them up. Not even a spark hardly. Just barely. At some point I'm gonna call it good here. We'll put this in the middle and see if it cuts. You can see that pretty good. Not a spark there. Okay, I'm going to call it good and get it in the mill. Alright, I pulled the entire arbor assembly out of the cutter grinder here. Here's the uh, flicker finger. That you index the teeth with. It's over here in the mill. Here's the ones that I have the most problem with here. You can see the stack of them. And I can't seem to grind out that error. And there was error in the smaller 15 tooth cutter here. And I managed to grind the error out of 14 of the 15 teeth. So there's one, one tooth that's just a little short. And I thought I'd just go ahead and pull this out and give it a test. Because uh, things were going so bad with the other ones. So let's see what happens. Right there, I think you can see it. Okay, get more light. Okay, got some of that uh, waxy stuff on there. That's a hundred and twenty-five thousandths depth and uh, an eighth inch. Uh, well, it's a quarter inch wide cutter, and I'm going to run it at 260, which might be a little fast. Let's go.
and steeper and climb mill it back the other way because I know I can get away with it. Yeah, you could tell that was running a lot um, more even. I'm going to stick it back in there and I'm going to finish this cutter up and get all the teeth even. But I'm satisfied with the way that looks versus the way that these slots look. Yeah, that's, that's perfectly acceptable there. And you can tell it was cutting fairly evenly. Like I tell you, there's one cut, uh, tooth that's about two and a half thousand short. It's kind of rounded off. So I have to go back and uh, grind the rest of them, which is really quite easy because, see, it's set up. So if I was going to do a lot of cutting with that cutter, or a cutter setup, you can even um, stack cutters up for straddle milling and stuff. You can pull it out, resharpen the whole works right here, and keep the uh, keep things going in good trim. Okay, I will be back with a bunch more. I hope you enjoy this simple cutter grinding. It, it's really quite easy. Okay. I will be back.